This is Ralph Irvin at Jackie Robinson Stadium, where this weekend the UCLA baseball team will host Cal State Fullerton in the NCAA Super Regional. The Bruins have been paced all year by their pitching staff, and this weekend should be no different. Here's UCLA head coach John Savage. I love our pitching staff. I mean, I think it's the best pitching staff in the country and maybe the best pitching staff that I've ever coached. You know, I mean, you're talking about uh, breaking the UCLA record for strikeouts. You're talking about uh, hits per, per innings pitched. You're talking about walks and you're talking about batting average. I think it's 219 in the season from top to bottom. So you're talking about some bunch of very talented arms, both experienced arms and younger arms, kind of a combination of both. And uh, I, I can't say about enough about their work ethic and their focus all season long. They've stayed together and have pitched uh, and really put us in position that we are today. So, um, you know, our, our pitching from our starting rotation to our to our middle relief, to our to our long relief, to our setup, to our closers, uh, we feel we, is, we have as good as pitching as there is in the country. The consistency that Coach Savage talks about is in the starting pitchers, where Friday night you can expect to see Garrett Cole, Saturday Trevor Bauer, and on Sunday it's Rob Rasmussen. I think consistency is the key word there. I mean, you're talking about four guys that started throughout the entire season. I don't think you can say one or two teams that, you know, in the country have done that. We've had a Friday guy. We've had a Saturday guy. We've had a Sunday guy. Garrett Claypool's been as good as any Tuesday guy in the country. So uh, I think consistency, those guys have held their stuff throughout the year. Uh, they're throwing as hard as they have at the beginning of the year. Uh, and some of them are even throwing harder. So I think they're trained very hard and they're, and they're very well schooled and, and they know what they need to do to, to get past this round. So uh, our, our pitching will be ready and, uh, you know, because they've been ready all year. Um, I think it's it's very important to to definitely you know set the tone for the weekend because you know players feed off that and it's definitely good to come out with the first punch. Um, I think that you know in situations like this weekend you know it's really important. Um, but you know then then again you have to come out and and take the game one game at a time and and one pitch at a time and you have to just kind of approach it like like any other game. You know I have kind of my own routine that I uh, that I kind of work before the game and. Um, you know, I've, I've been pretty disciplined throughout the whole year about going about it. And, you know, so I'm going to approach this game, you know, like I've been approaching every other game. And, um, you know, I've been working hard this week and you know, it should be a fun game. It makes it a lot easier to, um, you know, to know every Saturday I'm, I'm going every Saturday and, you know, I can schedule my bullpens and I can really get on a routine. And that's really a testament to everybody else on the staff doing their jobs and, you know, pitching great all year. So, you know, no one's really feeling pressure to go out and win. We're, Mostly just sitting there saying, okay, I'm going to go pitch to pitch and do my best and, you know, give the team a chance to win, try to keep a minute for as long as I'm out there. And, you know, when I'm when my time's over, we got guys in the pen to come in and finish it up. It's been great. It's been unbelievable. I mean, I, for all of us, we've all been consistent. You know, Garrett on Fridays, Trevor on Saturdays, and me on Sundays. Um, we've all gone out there every single weekend. None of us has missed a start. And uh, we've all gone out there and, and done the job. I mean, we all have 10 wins. I think that's the first time it's ever happened in UCLA history. So uh, that's something that we're all proud of as a staff and um, as starting pitchers. But, um, you know, personally, obviously, it's, it's nice. You get in that, that comfort role. And I can speak for the other two, um, you know, talking about that comfort. And, uh, you know, you just get in a routine. And, and that's really, you know, what starts it all. Dan Klein has excelled as his role as the team's closer. And everyone's got um, set roles this year, and we've all been doing them real well. Um, our three start, starting pitchers have done an unbelievable job, and Matt and Eric and all those middle guys have done an unbelievable job, and I'm at the back. So, I mean, it's, it's a good situation with our staff. We've got so many guys that can go in there and get the job done. Once again, UCLA will host Cal State Fullerton this weekend in the NCAA Super Regional. It's a best two out of three series with games scheduled Friday, Saturday, and if necessary, on Sunday. Of course, with the best news and notes on UCLA baseball as well as live game broadcasts, you can get it all right here at uclabruins.com.